Today is the opening day of the legislative session for the state of Maryland. So we are at the Governor Calvert House in Annapolis, right here on State Circle, where all the action will be happening today. Really happy to have all of our friends back in town. I got to tell you, it's been a little lonely around the state house for nine months, and uh, but now that they're back, um, we're hoping to get uh, some things done. We've been focused on uh, job training, on uh, job opportunities, on giving people hope for a better future. It's a good beginning of the session. It's a good start of the 90 days. Now it's the 15th year, and uh, we're, the governor and the speaker myself are very happy and proud to participate. We would like to ask this morning what you'll be doing this legislative session to raise Marylanders out of poverty. You try to address all the needs of the citizens of Maryland. You never get 100% by the end of the session. But I think uh, the issues that are important will be addressed during this 90-day uh, session. The problem right now is public safety. The legislature is going to have to deal with it and deal with it uh, this session. We are very vested in the legislative process, um, what goes on in Annapolis, and we want to make sure we have consistency, constitutionality, and enforceable legislation. What role will the state play in supporting reduction programs and initiatives in Baltimore City? We're here because we do have a big stake. We have a lot of students in Maryland who need support. We want to make sure that our voices are heard on behalf of our members and our kids. This is the 15th annual Annapolis Summit, but just the governor's citation honoring your 15th anniversary. Thank you so Thank much. you very much. Thanks, governor. Appreciate it. Thank you. So we really built this thing. The audience has grown. Um, our sponsorships have grown. The partnership with the Daily Record has been incredible. What we essentially try to do is peel back the headlines and tell people what's really going on, how it's going to affect their business, how it compares to existing law, who's buying a proposal, who's against it. So if you read our coverage, we'd like to think that you come away with some insight as to what's really happening.